Hey guys, it's Link, and today we're in the, the, we've gone to the, the, the place, and I hope we don't find a body or something. Oh, this Whoa. is so funny! I'm, Whoa, look at his eyes! Okay, so I just want to get this out of the way now so we don't screw the pooch. I'm going to thank a few patrons at the beginning of episodes now. What? No! Yeah, I'm going to thank a few no. patrons at the beginning of the episode. You're now. killing the flow! Alright, uh, today I want to thank Alice Hart. Thanks, Alice. Fan. Thanks, Fan. Ben. I'm Fay in ignorance right now, but I knew your name. But I'm... Desiree Plue. Desiree. Corbin Jean. Corbin! And Sev... Joint? What about Deb? And Sylvia Chapman Kent. What about Deb? Do we have a Deb? Deb Evan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Ruth Fleeman. I like that name. We're gonna run out of patrons. No. At this rate. We've got thousands more. Yeah, you're right. That I've been paying to pretend to be our patron. Uh -huh. It is not cost effective. Nah. Let me tell you that. Anyway, so thank you to those patrons. Let's get Ginger Snap started now. Okay. Uh. Sh 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 Oh, fuck. Okay, let's try again. Okay, fuck. hold on. Fuck, okay. okay. No, shit. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha! Got it. Nailed it. Nailed you'll, it. You'll just, we'll cut the rest of that in post. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember to do that. Yeah, okay. That's why we just always have to be on our best behavior. God, these because things, we, sorry. we cannot count on me remembering to cut something that can't go to print. Like, and you know what I need to, like, do is just come up with a way that forces Cooper to cut stuff that I want him to cut. Like, I remember there was this episode of, like, the Great British, 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 British Breakoff. And, um... Uh-huh. And whenever a cast member was crying and the host didn't want it to end up on camera, they would just, like, uh say things that would have to be cut so then they couldn't show them. So I just have to say things that Cooper would have to cut. Damn. That's cool. Yeah. Except I'm not gonna cut it. Yep. Oh. I promise you, You're... this episode's going uncut. You're going to cut This it. raw episode. Stop it! What are you doing? Is that copywritten? Nope. What are you doing? Nothing. Molly? Not doing anything. Molly? What? Is that copywritten? Gays smell bad. Molly! Cooper! You can't just say gays smell bad, Cooper! You put that into Google Translate! Cooper, you can't just... Oh my god, he's saying it bilingually! Los gays huelen mal. Cooper! Molly! Oh my god, this is a PR nightmare. You have to cut that. Do all languages call them gay, or is that just... You have to cut that. I... I don't like you. Cooper. Please stop. You have to cut that. I would really appreciate you not implicating me in this PR nightmare. Okay? Oh god, Cooper. Yeah? Oh, what's he gonna say in Spanish now? What? Dick Cheney ganó dinero con la guerra de Irak. Cooper, you can't say, you can't just say that. What did I say? You made money of the Iraq War. <laughs> What'd you say? I can't believe you just said Dick Cheney made money on the Iraq War. <laughs> <laughs> on fucking ginger snaps. Cooper. I'm honestly in disbelief that you said that. I can't believe that. I you, mean, he you did. You have to cut this. <laughs> Cooper. And that's kind of just an uncontroversial truth. Like, oh my god, Cooper. He did, right? Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh no. Don't translate the rest of them, Molly. Well, I'm sorry, but this is just we for need the to Spanish make sure audience. the Norwegians know. This is they just... Wait, no, I... you can't translate <laughs> that one! I could have just said that because I Well, I saw the fucking funniest. Did I tell you about the... Have I told you about the Norwegian butter crisis? No. That sounds great. Okay, if I tell you this, will you cut epic music underneath the story? Fuck, I'm gonna have to remember that. Uh, are you going to? You already have to cut what I said about Dick Cheney, so you're gonna be in there I'm anyway. I'm not cutting that. You're gonna be in there. 
As it is. No, I'm not cutting that Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq War. He did. Dick Cheney made money. We're out here. Okay. Yeah, here we- we're so brave. The year is 2011. Quiet the fuck down. It's an unusually rainy summer, and the fields of Norway are lush. Okay. Flooded, even. The influx of rain means lower quality grazing for the cows of Norway. Less grazing, less milk. Less milk, less butter. Send this to Rosie. Normally, this would be nothing. Sure, butter is a staple, but anyone in the world with a dairy animal can make it! But what happens when your country is suffering under the tyranny of a butter monopoly? A buttopoly, if you will. <laughs> this is what is happening in Norway in 2011. Tyne, or Teen, is the name of that villain, controlling almost 100% of Norway's butter supply. And now suddenly... <laughs> No, go on. The stakes are so high. Woefully, perhaps fatally, not fatally, not fatally. I'm just going to tell you guys People that. People are going to die? No, no, we They're underprepared to supply Norway with what it wants as a new diet based on carbs happens to sweep the nation at the same time as this is all happening. Oh, shit. Increasing demand for butter in Norway by 30% just as butter shortages begin. Now, you might say so. What would you do? Probably just import some butter, right? No. No? No, you can't. Because there's a monopoly on butter production, and there have been tariffs passed so that it's outrageously expensive to import butter. Okay. It's just super expensive. Nobody can afford it. So there's no butter. Everybody wants butter. You can't import butter. It's the perfect storm. Okay. Okay. So Christmas came around and people needed butter. Panic fucking ensued, dude. <laughs> People <laughs> fucking panic, okay? So, like, they would stock butter in grocery stores and it would be off the shelf within minutes. Like, people were, like, waiting to pounce on the butter. Um, it was selling for, uh, about $50 for eight ounces of butter. Eight ounces of butter is two sticks. Now, some perspective is that in Norway, food is already pretty expensive. Um, I remember going to a Burger King when I was living there to get fries and it came out to something like eight US dollars at the time for fries or something. But $50 for 8 ounces of butter is outrageous for Norway. That's still outrageous. Anyway, so naturally a black market quickly developed okay. for butter. Two Swedish men got arrested trying to smuggle 550 pounds of butter into the country. All right. Normally that would be worth roughly 3,000 US dollars. They had a buyer set up who was going to give them an excess of 50, 15,000 US dollars. <laughs> five times. The butter price. A group of Russian men got arrested at the German border with the same plans. The Norwegian government could not keep up. It was chaos. It was the Wild West. Maybe the problem is the lack of butter. Yeah, so they were like, what are we going to do? And they ended up passing, I guess, a temporary exception on butter tariffs so that they could import some butter. Aid came from around the world. The Red Cross did butter drops. You're fucking <laughs> no, I'm with kidding. me. <laughs> okay, I'm fucking... I'm, I'm lying about the... The, the Red Cross, but yes, like, they started buying butter from every country they could. Um, the people were saved, and by early 2012, it was almost as if it never happened, and we will never forget the okay. Norwegian butter crisis. <laughs> it's Dick Cheney profiting <laughs> Well, what's re really important is, I first found out about the Norwegian butter crisis, well, it was mentioned while I was in Norway, but I first found out about the Norwegian butter crisis because someone on Tumblr... <laughs> made a post where they were laughing about the Norwegian butter crisis because they didn't know how it happened. And they wanted to say, what did the Norwegians do? Go down to their fridge, open it, and say, help, we're out of butter? But they didn't speak Norsk, so they just put it into Google Translate. And Google Translate, so butter, it's, it's, I can never pronounce it right, it's the O with a line through, it's like, uh, so it's like smooth. Kind of, but I, my pronunciation is terrible. I'm sorry, guys. I live in three different regions. I never got a good accent. But for some reason, Google Translate didn't give them smear for butter. It gave them smear midden, which is lubricant. It's smear midden. <laughs> which is lubricant. So they made a post that said, help, we've run out of lube, which would be a very different but equally hilarious national crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man. Well, 
I'm I'm not putting music over that entire five minute story. <laughs> um, I just really have been looking for a chance to info dump about the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011. So I want to thank everyone here for giving me a safe space yeah, okay. to do that. If you're Norwegian and you have opinions on my um uh my recounting of the tale, I don't care. <laughs> right. You're not a part of this dialogue. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. All right. When I lived in Norway, there was plenty of butter. When I lived in Norway, people had spines! <laughs> and they would get their butter from their own bodies! I have this... Now, here's the patron list. But we're not thanking you, though. We already did we that. We already fucking thanked I've, you. I have blood on my hands. What? It's it's. You did not just try to shove that into my damn face. <laughs> it's, it's chapstick. You, you harpy! Do you want to be hydrated? No. Your lips hydrated? No. I don't know how I got this chapstick on my hands. Can I please just wipe it on your lips? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go wash my I'm hands. I'm bleeding. What's happening? <laughs> All right, see you guys. <laughs>